this is Tushar here. In this video, we are going to talk about Font Awesome. What is Font Awesome and how to use it in your project? So let's get started. So basically, it gives you icons to use in your application or in your project. So there are a lot of icons that you can choose from the icons. So first of all, to use it, you should go to the website of font awesome which is font awesome.io so i will give you a demonstration like the icons that font awesome has so these are the number of icons that font awesome has you can use any of these icons and you can search for your icons like if you want uh, check so you will get this list of icons so you can choose it so how to get started in order to use font awesome you should install it first and installing it is super easy go to get started link and you can download the font awesome so i just want to download so this is what you get css folder font folder less and scss so this font folder is very important so just copy it and copy it to your directory second thing is this css file font awesome.css is important you can use it copy it to your directory as well first i'll create one more directory over here New folder CSS inside CSS. I'll copy the CSS file. Okay, so our setup is done. So let's jump into the code. So I'll open this directory in Sublime. Cool. Let me name it font awesome.html. Okay, so it's I have to save it here, right? Font awesome.html. So I don't need it, don't save it. So I'll create a dev with the class of container and inside that so let's see what icon we want to use okay so as I already told you there are a list of icons that we can use let's go to the examples suppose I want to add this cart okay so what I need to do is I need to click on that icon so it will give me the code related to that icon just copy it here I'm making a button inside that button I'll copy that icon code and I'll give some text so it requires a little bit of styling i mean using style tag in head section but it is not recommendable you should create separate css file to use it and yes one more important thing is we have not included the css file of font awesome that we have copied from the font awesome folder which is very important if you want to use font awesome so css Awesome. 
CSS. Oh no, let's just check this. Okay. Before doing this, continue with 400px margin 50px auto dot button uh, padding of 10px 40px background of blue for now So let's see how it is looking. Okay, so we got our icon. So let's just give it some color. So it should be visible. So use border radius. Just to make it look somewhat good. So you can see that the icon has been added. So I can increase the size of the icon using font size. Suppose 20 px. Let's see, will it work? Okay, it's working. Instead, I'll use button. That is okay. I'll use anchor. Text decoration. None. Display inline block and margin okay. So I think margin right will give some space. So let's make it ten px. Cool. So you saw that, right? So it's very easy to use. You just have to copy the code from the font or some website. First thing is you have to download the complete package. Just take the font folder from that package, copy it to your directory, font folder. Then from CSS, you can choose any of the CSS files which is necessary. Just include the CSS file, give a link to it in your folder like whatever the path according to your project and you can use it you can select the icons also so this is basic thing you have already used it you have this in just included the font icon along with the tag now you can increase the size okay so if FA large is for large, so let's uh, just look at FA large. So, so this is FA large. You can see font size 1.3333 em. Since I have given my own font size, it is so. So either you can use font size to increase the size or you can use this FA class, FA large or FA 2x, FA 3x, FA 4x, FA 5, 5x. So I'll use FA 5x. So it's getting, okay, I'll remove this font size. I don't need it because font awesome has, see, this is FA 5x. So you don't need to include the font size on your own style sheet but if you want some custom size you can include font size in your styles. See? Next you can create fix with icon just include this FA hyphen FW class. You can create the list FAUL FALI. It will create the check square. 
so it will re you can replace the default bullet bullet of list using this so there are a lot of things that you can do using font awesome it is quite actually it is awesome so they have named it correct font awesome a lot of things that you can do you just have to go through the documentation but you should know how to get started so now you already know so just play around with it if you like this video comment and subscribe thanks for watching